Hey everybody, my name is Daniel and welcome back to the Blu-ray Blind Buy. This is the Blu-ray Blind Buy where I go inside the store, put on this blindfold, go stumble around for Blu-rays. I pick three contenders and from those, whittle them down to one. We are not spending more than 20 bucks here because I'm broke as hell. And yeah, today we're at Best Buy because, you know, why not? Change of scenery, change of flavors, change of pace. Let's not waste any time. Go inside the store. It is now time to do this shit. Oh, I should edit that out, damn it. What? Say a bad word. I did say a bad word. Apologize. Gosh, I'm sorry, internet. Goodness right, gracious. Let's do this. I can't see. Remember, don't let me pay you have it. more than 20 bucks. Oh, do I have the actual <laughs> word? Damn it. Oh, this is so much harder. Oh my god. I don't know where I'm going. Um, I feel like I'm gonna fall over every time. Okay, this feels kind of neat. Is this is this like 20 bucks? Uh, no, but you definitely have it. Okay. Um, how high can I go? That's not a thing you can buy. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna squat. Maybe, maybe squat. Alright, what about this thing? Uh, I don't know if you have that. Is it 20 bucks or less? Yes. Okay, cool. We'll use this one. But I think you've seen oh, it. Oh no, it's broken. Hide me. What wall? The back wall. Oh, okay. You can walk faster. You're not close. I feel like okay, you so feel like you're gonna run me. I into would not do that to you. Really? I wouldn't. I don't trust. Not on camera. You. <gasps> we passed by the spooky section on the way here. My last one. I'm gonna grab from the spooky yes. section. So. Even though we probably have like 90% of what's there. Right. You know what? Okay, I'm just I gonna drag the... you because you're going really slow and it's bugging me. So let's go. Stop being impatient. I'm gonna die. It's okay. So are you not supposed to get things you've seen or things you have? Yeah, let's not. Unless it's like an upgraded version. Like if I have a DVD or something and I grab a Blu-ray, I might as well. Because you can always donate to your local library. Um, I wouldn't. Is it cheaper than 20 bucks? It is, but we have it. Oh, okay. And it's not worth the upgrade. Oh, no. It's amazing. Is it amazing? Uh... I feel like I'm running out of stuff. Um, like you can go around, there's more on the other side. Is there? Yeah. Okay. It's a spooky roundabout. Yay! Oh. I'm gonna go for something. Ooh, this feels nice. Is this um, cheaper than 20 bucks? Yeah, but we've seen that. But do I own it? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I kind of like the I cup. think you do. What is that? Can I, can I grab that? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, so, we got our three contenders here. Get a good look at them, admire them, love them, and all. And now we're gonna shuffle them up, and I'm gonna see what I wanna grab out of this. Uh, okay. I like this one because it's like got the heavy packaging. But I went with the big packaging earlier, and I got One Direction, <laughs> so I'm not gonna grab that. I might regret this later, friends. Uh, um, you know what? I think I'm gonna go with this one. This is the one I'm gonna grab. This is the one I'm gonna review for y'all. And turns out to be... Oh! I've never seen this one. Life of Pi. Holy crap. You want to see your other ones? What you were going to pick? Oh, what was I going to pick? Oh, The Lord of the Rings Return of the King Steelbook. And, oh, I already have this movie. The Mummy? Oh, I didn't know on that. On 4K? Yeah, I've got that Mummy, Mummy Returns. Uh, I think Scorpion King's on there, too. Remember that one time we got stupid drunk? Yeah. Oh, okay. Actually, this is a pretty good decision because I already own these. I've never seen this one before. Look at that. Some, don't go with a big packaging, you will always succeed. But now it's time to see if I actually like this movie. Back at the office. So, uh, we're back at the office, and three minutes ago I just finished Life of Pi. I'm 
pretty sure this is one of my new favorite movies ever. I'm actually incredibly stunned by this thing, how it kind of encompasses everything. You know, like the picture is some Indian teenager, I don't even think you see him wear the towel, some Indian teenager shipwrecked on a lifeboat with, uh, with a tiger. And it's so easy to just look at that and go like, oh, survival story. And yet this movie has ambitions as small as this kid's life, a man's life, and big as encompassing the entire universe, spirituality, just a treatise on faith and truth. I just, it blew me away. From like frame one, how gorgeous this film is, how saturated and rich the colors are. And you get to see all these animals just walking around. And it really puts you in a calming mood. And then you learn about this kid who's just, his eyes are set to the infinite, you know, almost quite literally. This kid's looking at spirituality, he's embracing religion. And I love how this movie just sets up everything you need to know about this kid from his family who acts like a real family, disagrees with him, but they teach him multi like amazing lessons. Everything in this movie, in this screenplay, is so immaculately conceived that everything pays off. Everything, there is no wasted detail in this film. And it's shot unbelievably with Claudio Miranda as the cinematographer and Ang Lee as the director. Ang Lee, I think I've only seen three movies of his, one of them being that weird Hulk with the poodle. But so far, this and Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk are movies I absolutely love. And I'm really happy to kind of start to build that filmography of Ang Lee and fall in love with it as much as I have. I can't wait to see Brokeback Mountain and whatever other movies he's done after this. It's kind of hard to describe. It's one of those movies that you really just kind of have to go see it. And for me, for somebody, like I said, one of my favorite movies is Silence, and I like that sort of in-depth look at spirituality and faith and what God is and all of that I felt here. Not just uh, from a Christian standpoint, as specifically as Silence does, but in this one it felt more human, it felt more universal. And universal in the sense that it encompasses every part of nature that is around us. Um, I'm sorry if I'm rambling, but I just am in love with this film and I can't stop thinking about it. This has some of my favorite images in a film now. And uh, yeah, in case there was any question, man, A plus. A plus plus plus. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for the Blu-ray Blind Buy, number two. This is easily, oh god, what an episode to redeem from One Direction, I'm so happy. Uh, if you liked what you saw, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, keep hanging out with me, learning, growing about movies, and right now, it is time for you to choose your own adventure between one of these videos. This one is gonna be my review for Good Boys, a film I liked. And this is going to be my review for IT Chapter 2, a movie I almost liked. So, you've got a decision to make, choose your own adventure, and I'll see y'all next time.